Good morning. Thanks for starting your day with Denver 7 News. I'm Molly Hendrickson. And I'm Brian Sanders. Let's get right to our top stories. Today, the Colorado community will come together to say goodbye to Johnny Hurley. He was the Good Samaritan who confronted a gunman in Old Town, Arvada last month. Hurley was then killed by responding officers. His family is hosting a celebration of life for him today at Robbie Farafino Park in Arvada at noon. The memorial is open to the public. Today is recall election day in Westminster for part of the city council. It all started last summer when a group fought back after seeing their water bills skyrocket. They fought city officials and then went to court to get the recall election. If you live in Westminster, you can vote in person or drop off your ballot. It is too late to mail it in and have it counted. And the beloved Lakewood restaurant Casa Bonita will be reopening soon. According to the Denver Business Journal, bankruptcy court documents show Casa Bonita's owners hope to open by the end of the month or early August. The restaurant has been closed since last March because of the pandemic. Here's meteorologist Lisa Hidalgo with your Denver 7 forecast. And it is going to be another pretty hot day today. Another day of 90s for us. You're stepping out the door this morning, mainly the 60s up and down the front range. A bit hazy again today. We're looking at another ozone action day alert in effect until at least 4 o'clock this afternoon. Mid 90s for highs today. Denver likely in the upper 80s by lunch and then right around 95 for a high this afternoon. So it's pretty toasty. We're about 5 degrees above normal today. 70s, more 80s again for the mountains and pretty dry. Now there's a slight chance that we'll see an isolated storm or two roll off the foothills today. A better chance for a few storms in the mountains and we'll see more stormy weather here in town starting tomorrow.